Hello and welcome to another episode of Making Chips brought to you by Sierra Steel Guitars. I'm Ross Schaefer, your host. I'm pretty excited today because all that machining we've been doing, that is all to make steel guitars. And now we're finally going to start assembling one of those steel guitars I've been working on. So here we go. First thing I'm going to put in is the brace between the uh, frame rails here. That just helps keep everything lined up and stabilizes the whole structure. It also serves another purpose, but that is t -t top secret, and I can't tell you right now. Don't worry, all will be revealed. Anyway, we pop this baby in here, and I just recently learned of this awesome stuff. This blue goo right here. That is Loctite paste. Oh, what a wonderful thing. No more blue drips all over everything. I dig it. So we got some wrench turning to do. Here we go. Got the center brace in now. We're going to be mounting the sides. If you notice, side panels on Sierra Steel Guitars, they're all bolted on with machine threaded fasteners. Sierra Steel Guitars do not have a traditional steel guitar body. They use three separate panels. The top is separate from everything else. There's one side. Let's do the other. And voila, we have something that's starting to look like a steel guitar. Pretty nice inlay there. That's from Larry Robinson, special request from the uh, new owner of this guitar. Beautiful. Let's get the tops together. Well, it's time to build up the top. We got this nice root beer color flame maple. Hmm, makes me thirsty. And uh, we're going to be putting these big hard-edged aluminum parts on there, so we want to be really careful not to scratch anything. So we're going to carefully place it about where it's going to go. And these just kind of hold it in place for me while I turn it over. Now we'll work from the bottom. Mount our return spring hanger plates, stop bar hanger, whatever you want to call it. It's a hanger bracket. Let's do the tuner end. And there's the tuner housing mounted up, ready to go. Oh boy, next the neck. So we're going to mount the neck just like all the other attachment points on Sierra Guitars. We're using machine threads by use of these little brass inserts. And uh, we're just going to mount that. Theoretically, it fits right in there if the two housings are mounted correctly. And it does. Almost no play at all. 
none. It just is squeezed in there. That's awesome. So, it's kind of looking like a steel guitar. We turn it over carefully and we put in some fasteners. Yeehaw! Hot dog! Look at that! Neck is mounted next. We're gonna put this baby right on the guitar. Well, stay we got the frame together. We just need to mount the top. The top is a floating top, as we've mentioned before, and all that's attached to it is the changer housing. That's that. And the tuner housing. That's that. So, moment of truth. Does everything fit? I sure hope so. Oh, oh yeah and we've got our screws here in this case I don't actually use Loctite I use never sees Aha, get that secret thing out of there. Looks like we got us a steel guitar ready to put the guts into. Isn't it pretty all empty like that? All right, well, that was a long march. Thanks for sticking with me on it. We got three bodies together. These are going to be beautiful guitars. Lots more work on the undercarriages to go. So stay tuned for more episodes of Making Chips. Thanks and see you next time.